Hello, welcome to the end of May. I wanted to show you a little bit of our garden. Uh, we don't have a ton going on here. We do have a colder uh, climate here in Maine. We're in Southern Maine. And sometimes, yeah, we can't get to our garden like other folks in Southern states and so on to have longer growing seasons. So let me show you what we have. I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you here on the porch and we're also gonna share a little bit that we did in the front of the house. So that will be good. Thank you so much to Victoria from Home Educating the Mad Lads for doing this every single month during the planning season, a gardening collab. We have people from other countries. We have people, they just enjoy doing gardening. Now we're not amazing at it. Uh, we have done many years of it, but we're not amazing, but we're always learning and always trying to do better. So let's get into a little bit of the tour of what we're doing around the property. We did some shrubs in the front. We have a side garden. We've got little wildflower gardens that we've started. And also we've got our back garden that's still in a little disarray, but I'll show you what we got going on and then I'll show you some of the starting things we have on the deck. Here on the deck, we have some mint, some rosemary, lavender, and look, we got a little blue. Some mint, peppermint, and I think that one is spearmint. Um, some basil, some more basil. A sweet potato project that's probably not gonna go so well because the kids didn't necessarily um, keep the water up. Here we have some oh, morning glories, but they're not doing so hot. It looks like they got a little too suntanned, unfortunately. We've got some tomatoes in here, but we'll see if they come up. Not quite sure. I think this is alyssum. It's a flower. We also have some morning glories. These are the most beautiful. Grandpa Ott. They're just so pretty. We have some. <laughs> Don't worry, these come natural. But I had a bulb. This was in here, but it didn't come back. But we had this bulb and it's still growing. And then that's just a cup of old dandelions. <laughs> that's not growing. My kids are enjoying finding things that are alive and well. We have like a little bush the kids took out with roots. I've got a little fern here, but yeah, they're in, they're enjoying that a lot. Included in the garden is the grass. My, hus my husband has taught my son how to do the grass and he does a great job. So he'll see what we have back here. Herb here, the chive plant, it's looking great. It is going to seed, getting those flowers. Now, these have toppled over. We need to secure them better, unfortunately. <clears throat> but back here, we've got a whole bunch of cukes, a whole bunch of cucumbers. They're doing okay. They're still pretty tiny, but they're getting new leaves, so that is a good sign. Peppers. Still very tiny. This one's kind of so big. The back of this is pretty overtaken it's with another one of those hostas. The tree trying to regrow from that stump. <laughs> and in here we've got some bulbs, but my daughter spread. Oh, and we've got some creeping John. That is a weed. It has pretty flowers on it though. See? Some pretty flowers. Creeping John. Pretty flowers but it is a weed. All of these are little wildflowers, these little sprouts that you see here. So that is going to be great. We're gonna have hopefully a cut and come again or just a, a cut garden and try to sell some plants. That's what my daughter wanted to do. Let me show you the side. We planted some more there, but that's her little hideaway garden back here in the shady area. All right. Here's the side of the house where we planted the rhubarb. So that's doing really good. Probably should harvest some of these stalks. 
transplanted it this year, so I'm pretty surprised. And we put it in this shady spot. I think they thrive just about anywhere, but we got it in shade. This is a bush we pulled out of the front of the house and it's still blooming. It had one shoot when we took it out. Oh, and here's Mickey Mouse with no nose. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> um, yeah, so this has a beautiful bloom on it. So I wanted to keep at least one. These are absolutely beautiful this year. Absolutely beautiful. We got some more, this is called flame or fire flame or something. I need to look that up. But we actually pulled these <laughs> out of the back creek. They're like a natural um, plant, so someone must have just thrown them out there, but you can buy these at the, you know, farm store or the plant store. Another hosta and some more bulbs, but this spot is really pretty. We took this leftover bark mulch um, from the front of the house. As you can see, it's a lot, and I was able to put it here and make myself a little side garden, which is cool. Oh, we don't want to forget Mr. Frog. There he is. Side of the house here, we have plants that are sprouting up. We're not really good at watering over here, which I wish was different, but it goes all the way the length of the house up to the bike, apparently. But so we got some um, sunflowers planted here. We'll see what happens. And some full sun wildflowers, which just gets partial, but I thought it might work you can see some of the sprouts down there are starting to come oh look at this one this must be a sunflower i'm not sure we'll see what that comes up with on the side of this this part of the house that will be super nice hopefully that will work out make something beautiful Our front tree some bulbs we got the creeping john in there but we bought some flowers i like these a more queen of hearts petunias oh so pretty but another one of those plants that we pulled out of the creek up oh, they chopped up my bulb <laughs> or my plant here okay anyways that's the side into the tree at the mailbox we have an iris that's trying to open up so that will be really beautiful some more bulbs just the regular stella dorios with the yellow um, bell flowers we have a dahlia i really like these um and it's this royal color oh she's so cute oh and there's another one i fell in love with these back when i helped my friend in her flower business she went on vacation once so anyways that's pretty I put it on this side so I can see it from the house. <laughs> but, yeah. Can't get lower. So you think I should go higher on it? I'm thinking higher, so you get like the firm part of the root ball, but no, maybe not. Wait. 
Now I gotta do the other ones. This one's the other ones. All others. Keep going. Keep going. Move. Keep going. It's moving a little bit. We could call ourselves International Landscape. There you go. That's a dumb. This is a big one. Here's my boxwood, boxwood fern here. Ugh, it's such a hot day. It's definitely shot up. Definitely nice. King's gold. And this is blooming. I have all of the instructions and things inside. I can't remember exactly what this is called. If you know, let me know. But this one's ready to bloom. It's so, so pretty, exquisite. We got our little bush tree bush tree this one just finished blooming another king's gold and another like boxwood so it looks nice it's definitely grown up a lot this past month it's been great it has been a good month we want to get more done on the garden we got some seedlings that need to go in we've got some flowers that need to go in the front's going well we water every other day and fertilize on Wednesday once a week so that's been going well and that's from our friends who helped us with that so yeah definitely a fun time something that we've been enjoying doing over at our house in our garden so thank you for joining me we'll see you next time bye <laughs>